everyone welcome to set commerce youtube channel today we will learn how you can set up shipping settings in google merchant center so let's get started log into your merchant center account and at the dashboard go to tools and settings and select shipping and returns click on add shipping service fill shipping service name let's go with us shipping here select the service area this would be a specific country your shipping service applies to once you are done with filling the required details, click on next to proceed. Now select set a range of delivery times out of these two options. In the three options here, set the cutoff time for orders, fill in the time and select the time zone. Let us fill here 9 pm EST. For handling time, specify the minimum and the maximum number of days it will take to process the order. Also choose which days of the week you will process orders. The transit time is the number of days it will take after shipping to deliver the order to the customer. Now in this drop down more transit times you can fill in details of transit time labels for all other destinations. Through this holiday shipping cutoff you can set up special delivery settings for particular holidays like Halloween or Christmas. If you want to learn more about holiday shipping cutoff settings check out the Google support documentations the link to which is attached in the YouTube description. Now let's skip this part for now and click on next. In this customer shipping cost section you need to select the shipping cost you want to apply for the shipping service. Let's say you are offering a free shipping service for orders above $10 and you charge a $5 shipping charge for an order price below $10. Save the details and you'll find settings for your new shipping service. Click on view all shipping services. Let us go back to the shipping service we have just created. Say if you would like to change the shipping cost, here are the other options you can switch to. Now choose free shipping if you offer free shipping to all orders. The range based settings allow you to set different shipping rates depending on the order value. For orders price below $10 we are charging $5 so let's fill the same here. Now all orders above $10 are eligible for free shipping, thus no amount is filled here. You can add any other range as per your need. Select flat rate if you are offering flat shipping rates for all orders. For example, you charge $10 for all the orders. So choose the courier option if the shipping charges are defined by your courier. Now switch to advanced setting in case you want more options to set up shipping costs for products. Let's keep the shipping rate name as US shipping and click on create a single rate for all orders. In add dimensions, you will be given different options like order, price, weight in kilograms, weight in pounds, number of items and many more. Now first, let's go with the order price as you see the table here. Fill in $5. From the following options, select a fixed rate of $5. For $5 to $10, set the fixed rate to $20. For $10 or more, the fixed rate is $0 which means you are offering free shipping for all orders above $10. You can delete or add rows as per your requirement. Now click on continue and save. Let's go back again and change the shipping cost in the shipping rate table. Delete the table we have just created and create a new table. Now this time from the options here let's go with the destination by state. Select the destination state and fix rate of $5. Click on continue and then save. Go back to the shipping service we have just created which is US shipping and select the second option, filter products by shipping label. This is an advanced filter option where you can set up shipping costs for products under shipping label. Now guys that's all for today, hope this video has helped you to give an idea about how you can set up your shipping in your Google Merchant Center account. Now if you have any more questions or queries or you are stuck with fixing the shipping services issue in your GMC account, do let us know in the comment section below and we will get back to you as soon as possible. For then, bye bye, thank you so much for watching this video.